So, exercise 1.2 third problem show how root 5 can be represented on the number line. So, you know root 4 is equals to 2, right? And root 9 is equals to 3. Now, we want to represent this root 5. So, clearly root 5 lies between 2 and 3, okay? You have to get this point root 5 lies between 2 and 3 so on the number line middle 0 will be there right side positive numbers and left side negative numbers will be there so now this 2 means root 4 only right so take this a b as these two units now draw a perpendicular line bc with one unit okay why I am taking these two as one? Five is equals to two square plus one. Four plus one, five. Okay, so that's why I am taking. So here it is perpendicular. By joining it is a right angle triangle. So by Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. Two square plus one. Four plus one, five. So this will be root five. Now with this radius, we will draw an arc in between 2 and 3. So that particular point where the arc intersect this number line represent root 5. Okay. So for that, I just draw. So first, same point I wrote here. We know that root 4 is equal to 2 and root 9 is equal to 3. So therefore, root 5 lies between 2 and 3. So I draw on a number line so I took here equal distance as 1 1 inch okay because it will be very neat to see no problem if you take 1 centimeter 1 centimeter gap also okay so now here first two units now I'm taking two units a b two units AB is equals to 2 units. Now draw a perpendicular and BC is equals to 1 unit. This is 1 unit. And it is C. Now join A and C. Okay. So, what is this AB length? 2 units AB and BC 1. So, by Pythagoras theorem, this is 2 square plus 1 square 4. And so, this will be root 5. Okay, students. Now, with the compass, measure the distance AC. Okay. So, with this AC radius, and with A as center, draw an arc on the number line. So, it intersect. It is nearer to 2, na? Okay. Root 2 means 2.236, na? So, it is very close to 2. So, this will be point P. If it is point P, the point P value is nothing but root 5 on the number line. Okay. So, see the steps now first AB is equals to 2 units draw BC is equals to 1 unit and perpendicular to AB so by joining AC triangle ABC is formed so this triangle ABC is a right angle triangle so in right angle triangle ABC by Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square hypotenuse means the side which is opposite to the right angle so ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square ac square is equal to 2 square plus 1 square that is 4 plus 1 5 so ac will is equal to root 5 after transposing this square to rhs it will be square root now by taking a as center with ac as radius draw an arc on the number line which intersect at p 
P represents root 5 on the number line. Okay. So, P represent root 5 on the number line. So, students like this, you can represent root 5 on the number line. So, students, please share this video with your friends and please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.